We are given a diagram of two intersecting circles with a bunch of chords. The following information is given. Both ABEC and DEF are straight lines. DEF is tangent to the larger circle, which means they only intersect at one point. Given one of the angles and a few segments, we need to determine DE and the angle BGF. Let's work on DE first, and we can focus on the smaller circle for now. Since A, B, E, C, and D, E, F are straight lines, it tells us that B, E, C, and D, E, F are two intersecting chords within the circle. This means they adhere to the intersecting chords theorem, which makes the triangle B, E, F and the triangle D, E, C similar to each other. As a result of this similarity, angle B, E, F and D, E, C are the same. Well, I should say that the opposing angle formed by any two intersecting straight lines will always be the same. Anyways, it also means that the angle EBF and EDC are identical, likewise for BFE and DCE. Furthermore, the ratio of corresponding sides between the two triangles are the same. In this case, BE corresponds to DE and EF corresponds to EC. Since we already know BE, EF, and EC, we can determine DE right away, which is roughly 13 units. To determine the angle BGF, recall that angle BFE and angle BCD are equal because of the similarity. So angle BFE equals 30 degrees as well. We can now shift our focus to the larger circle. One important piece of information is that DEF is tangent to the larger circle. What this implies is that we can apply the tangent chord theorem. It states that the angle formed by a tangent, in this case which is EF, and the chord, which is BF, is equal to the angle in the alternate segment, which refers to the angle BAF. If you are interested in the proof of this theorem, we can demonstrate it in a separate video in the future. For now, since we have obtained angle BAF, we can shift our focus to the quadrilateral ABGF. All the vertices of this quadrilateral are on the circumference of the larger circle, making it an inscribed quadrilateral also known as a cyclic quadrilateral. This means the opposing angles within the quadrilateral are supplementary to each other. So the angle at point B and the angle at point F add up to 180 degrees. Likewise, the angle at point A, which is angle BAF, and the angle at point G, which is angle BGF, add up to 180 degrees as well. Hence, BGF equals 180 degrees minus BAF which gives 150 degrees. 